My name is Laurence Albiges. I'm a medical oncologist, head of the medical oncology department in Gustave Roussy Institute in France. Here at ESMO 2023, we had a very rich news around RCC and especially the great data that were presented for the first time on a new mechanism of action drug, namely Belzutifan, a first-in-class HIF2 alpha inhibitor. What we do know is that this agent is already approved for VHL-associated disease, such as RCC. And for the first time, we have a randomized phase three in patients with clear cell RCC that had failed at least one prior VGFTKI, up to three, and one immune checkpoint inhibitor. To put a long story short, in a very heavily pretreated patient population, Belzutifan demonstrated an increased progression-free survival increased response rate, increased duration of response, and a great progression reported outcome with two different scales. Uh, as of now, the overall survival signal is not significant, but nevertheless, the study is positive and is bringing to our patient a new mechanism of action drug, and hopefully that will lead to approval, and that will change our practice in patients that fail at least one immune checkpoint and one VGF-TKI. So Belzutifan is to become a new standard of care. Interestingly, we had new data along these lines of combining Belzutifan with a VGF-TKI, and that's the LightSpark 003 study that showed interesting response rates. It is not yet practice changing. This is leading to randomized phase three in second line setting, in first line setting, as well as in the adjuvant space in combination with pembrolizumab. So stay tuned for further development of this agent. With regard to new or intriguing uh, and interesting agent, we also had new results of MEDI5752. That's a bispecific dual antibody targeting both PD-1 and CTLA-4. We had in the past results from phase one and first cohort of phase two. What we are seeing at this ESMO 2023 is larger cohort of patients treated at two different dose levels, showing great response rates, and also a few patients having upfront progressive disease. With more follow-up, it seems that the response are really sustained over time, and so MEDI5752 is not yet available, but is likely to be investigated in randomized phase three, in first-line setting in the future, so stay tuned with this new agent. Now, two other pragmatic studies I want to stress. Tide A is an Italian study, very interesting, which for the first time look at the question of drug holiday with your VGF-TKI when you're combining IO plus VGF-TKI in frontline. What the study showed us is that it is feasible to stop the TKI when a patient is achieving partial response. And this study randomized patient when they had reached nine months of partial response. So Tide A is about how we can offer our patient drug holiday and showing this is feasible. And actually this is what we are doing for our patient to increase their quality of life and assure long-term benefits. Lastly, I want to stress an international study conducted in China, Renault Torch. Why is this study important? Because it is a TKI-IO randomized study However, it is important because as of now in China, PD-1 inhibitors were not available in combination with, with a TKI for frontline clear cell RCC. And this study hopefully will now allow the um, patient treated in China to receive combination of TKI IO. So overall, a very rich ESMO 2023 across all GU tumors, including RCC, with one new standard of care coming along. If you want to see more, please down the slide on this website. Thank you very much for your attention.